Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this creation right here. I start off the video saying we're going to make ourselves into an alien and that completely changes. Throughout the video I just look more and more like a sea creature and then I get the kind of evil mermaid vibe so I mean, however you want to take this look, it can be interpreted a lot of ways, I think, but this is the look for today. It's just a very creative, fun look where I'm just, you know, being creative with makeup, which is what it's all about. So without further ado, let's jump into today's Halloween look tutorial. In order to transform ourselves into today's alien, I'm going to use this blue shade from the Marone palette. And as usual, you just need a little bit of water to activate the face paint. And I'm going to be using my Sigma F82 brush, which is a round kabuki. And I'm going to be taking this all over the face, the neck, and the chest. This may be a mistake, but I'm going to put a little bit of paint on my ears. Probably not going to get that out. Once you are fully blue, we're ready to move on to the next step. So next, I'm just going to be taking a white eyeliner pencil and I'm going to start drawing in some shapes of the face. We're then going to go in with a white face paint afterwards. So this is just to give us those guidelines where we want to put that paint. I decided to do this step after we were already blue because mixing the white with the blue kind of gives it a little bit more of a bluey shade than just the white. So I'm just basically creating a different face shape for myself that's a little bit more alien-like. And then I'm ending up connecting these little outside lines like so. And then I'm also going to move down to the neck. I don't want to get it wrong, but I think it's like some muscles or tendons or whatever it is that is kind of naturally giving the shape in your neck. You can kind of accentuate it when you like turn your head a little bit. You can see it kind of pop up. So I'm kind of following that shape there. And then I'm kind of leading that into the collarbones. Next, I'm going to be taking the white face paint from the Maroon palette. And I'm going to start filling in these shapes that we created on the face. completely forgot to leave some lines out for the eyes, so quickly going in with that. Then once the face is filled in, move on to the chest. And then for this part, I'm kind of just going on the spot with what I want to do. So I'm just following the line of my collarbone and just painting over it with this white. And then I'm just bringing this color down a bit. And then I think I'm actually going to take that same kind of extended pattern out. And then it just depends how low you have your shirt. If you continue with that pattern, I'm probably gonna stop at this second little tier down here. There we go, I like that. Now moving back onto the face, I'm gonna be taking the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden, and I'm just gonna start applying this to the eyelids and a little bit below on the lower lash line. Then the next step of the eyes is I'm going to be taking from this Kat Von D 10 year anniversary eyeshadow palette and I'm so sorry. I know this is limited edition, but these kind of three colors I want to probably work with today and this is the only palette in which I own 
that has those shades that aren't in like a shimmer or anything crazy done to them. But what I always do anyway is just go through my collection and see if there I have anything that kind of matches it. So I'm gonna be taking that shade right over here and I'm gonna start packing this on the lid. So I'm just gonna fill in this kind of eye shape that we left alone before with this shade. Nothing too complicated here. And I'm running it through my brows as well. This is why I kind of left it alone because it is a darker shade, so you're not really gonna see it too much. And I'm just taking the edge of this eyeshadow brush and just kind of shading down a little bit on the nose right there. Just giving a different feel of the nose. And then taking that same eyeshadow, I'm gonna start filling in these holes that we left between this white face paint. Just gonna help accentuate this nose shape. Just switching brushes, this is the Wet n Wild Shader Brush. I'm gonna start filling in some other lines to the face here. And same with that same shade, kind of taking it around this little spot on the forehead, kind of shading it out. And I'm gonna do the same all the way around the face. I'm gonna take that same shade and kind of shade around it with that Wet n Wild shader brush. Then with that same shade, but I'm gonna be taking the fluffy side of this ABH brush you get inside of the ABH palettes. I'm gonna now go along those same areas and just shade around it to give it a little bit more depth. And then I'm sorry if I'm kind of jumping around, I'm getting ideas as they come to me, but I'm gonna take that same brush we used to shade and I'm gonna start drawing some patterns on the lips. First I'm creating is just a straight line down the center. And then going from there, I'm gonna create other little lines, different sizes. I'm gonna create some lines that come down on the side of the face, kind of like smile lines. So I'm gonna smile, just fill those lines in a little bit and just fading them up and down a little bit. And then I'm just gonna create some lines kind of by the eye. I'm gonna create a couple lines coming out of the eye. Just one kind of like so. And then I'm actually deciding to take these lines that I just created, curve them a little bit downwards. And then creating just maybe a couple lines down here on the chin, kind of like so. I'm gonna create one big line that kind of comes down like so on the top of the eye. Then I'm gonna be dipping back into the Cap on D palette and I'm gonna take the gray shade now. And I'm taking this on a fluffy profusion blending brush. And I'm gonna start kind of shading around here. I'm just gonna be placing this shade a little sporadically all throughout the face, kind of give a different tone. We don't want it just one dimensional, we want some 3D. So I'm just kind of patting this kind of all over in a way. And then where I created some of those lines, I'm gonna take that fluffy brush we were using earlier with the previous shade. And I'm gonna go on top of those lines we created and shade with them, just right on top of them. So I'm just gonna be repeating that throughout the face. And you know what? I think now it's missing something. So, so from this top little line we drew, I'm gonna be extending that downwards, like so, and I'm gonna have a line out here connect with it. And then just extending that down. And then I'm gonna be doing the same kind of blending. 
And then I'm gonna create a couple lines around the eyes here. Kind of like wrinkles or just folds around the eyes. However you wanna think of it. And then I'm picking up a little bit more concentrated pigment of that eyeshadow and I'm gonna place it kind of in this mouth area. I'm now gonna start shading around the face a little bit more, taking that same shade. I'm gonna take the Real Techniques contour brush, get to start shading around the face. And I'm also gonna start taking it a little bit down the neck now, shading it out. And I'm just taking that shade wherever we did not put that white shade, just kind of filling in those areas of the skin with a little bit of shading. And then just repeating the same kind of pattern I did on the face, I'm gonna take some of that gray shade, go through where that white color was on the body, Start shading in, do the outlining, and then shade it in a little bit darker. And then what I'm actually gonna do is take the ends of some makeup brushes that are circular, dip it into the white face paint, and I'm gonna start stamping on some circles here and there. I'm gonna take them a little bit down here on the shoulders as well, just kind of going boop, 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 boop. Going back and forth between the sizes. Putting a couple down the center of the neck as well. Creating a couple dots down here on the chest region as well. These a little bit more synchronized. Just three dots like that. And I'm gonna go in with a rotating pattern of these smaller dots just throughout it. I'm gonna do a little bit concentrated out here, just right here. And then I'm just gonna go around and kind of create a couple dots here and there wherever I want. Doing some at the top here, concentrated, overlapping a little bit. And then I'm gonna put up a couple dots just right over here as well. All of a sudden I turned into like a mermaid sea alien? I don't know. But I, I really just wing this makeup. I'm kind of living for it though. I'm thinking I need a couple different shades of color though. So I'm gonna go into that navy blue and I'm just gonna add this in some little areas of the face. I'm gonna put it in this little hollow of the cheek right here. Just kind of pack that color in. Same with the other side. A little bit here at the tips of the forehead. Putting a little bit of color over some of these dots down here. I'm gonna go in with this kind of bright purple. Hopefully this works. Fingers crossed. And I'm gonna kind of do some overlapping here. And some of the parts of the face, just kind of like stamping it on, just like so. A little bit over these dots. Stamping a little bit down here on the chin, because I think the chin got left alone a little bit there. Just putting some down here. A little bit down here on the chest. I then took a break to kind of just look at what I had created and see if I wanted to add some things, which I do. I'm gonna go in with a couple more of these little dots. I'm gonna take a couple right on the chest region right here. I feel like the chest there was looking a little plain. And I wanna take just a little bit more of that purple Kind of go on top of where we just placed some of those dots. A little bit over here in the neck region on my left side. And take some shading out here. And then I'm gonna finish it off with just some lips. This is like a black lipstick with a green tint to it. This is a color by measurable difference. 
keeps just mushing around. I'm gonna go in with the black, see if that does anything different. Then I'm just gonna do a couple more last minute touches. I am gonna be taking that same kind of blue shade I've been using all throughout to shade. Just popping a little bit more up here, kind of crossing over here a little bit too. Same in this little area by the cheekbones, a little bit over here too. But this is the Evil Mermaid look. I do have more Halloween looks coming this week. I have at least two more. I'm gonna see how many I can get up before October is over. But if you guys like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.